Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, dude, what is essentially going to be God's ass kicking? Um, I am going to change over my team a little bit. I might as well bring in good old Shulk. Uh, oh, that's actually I'm just going to have my... Uh, what was my main team, really? Uh, they seem to work well together. We kicked a lot of ass over the time. Uh, I need to change. Should be alright. Come on, and God. Let's do this. I think what may have. Oh, yay. Um, so, so many times attempts before was just because. Okay, go on, then. Right. Uh, that one. That one. That one. Damn it, I didn't get a thingy. Okay. Smoosh. Because we are awesome. Run! Have it! Yes! Have it, bitch! See? Yeah. Then I shall obliterate everything with my unimaginable power. Uh oh. Uh oh. Of course he's got a second phase. Uh oh. Now behold the true form of a united world. Well, that's slightly horrific. All right then. Only the no, I'm gonna stick. Uh, yeah. Come on then. No, he can scrap. Ryan doing his job. Yep. Yeah, good. Oh. Can I get another chain attack? Oh, and one more hit. Yes. Right. Yes! Let's do this! Back attack! Uh, wall swing! That one! Smoosh! Oh, come on! Fine, uh... That one. Oh, he's immune, okay. Let's call it off then! Uh, heal. Man. Ah, oh. He dodged it. Nice one. Come on. Now it's Ryan time. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on? Have I got him? You no longer possess the Monado. I don't know. It comes from the bottom of my heart. It shows me my enemy. It reveals the future I must change. The future we see is not set in stone. There are infinite possibilities based on the paths we choose. You should be well aware of this notion. For that is how you have always existed. That is a right for gods, and gods only! Why should we care? What's important isn't whether you can see the future or not. It's the will to make a choice, and the strength to seize your destiny. Our time has come. Our destiny is our own! <laughs> it is not only you that is the right. Every living thing has the freedom to choose the path they walk. And that is the future. A third of the Nara has appeared. How can this have happened? You are mere mortals. Clearly not. Your existence cannot be 
Come on in. Thing. Uh, uh, to do, uh... Oh really? Three out of three? Nothing. Oh. The other one I did get failed. Gotcha, you swine. It was actually quite easy. Then again, I was um, sort of kind of max level. How? The, the power of a god cannot be overcome. Zanza, this is the providence of the world. Even gods are merely beings restricted to the limited power determined by providence. Although great, is not hmm. unlimited. That voice! Oh, Albus! Yes. How dare you disobey me! Ah! I am Monado. I was here at the beginning. Oh. And I will proclaim the end. But that... that's impossible. Shulk, it is time for you to choose. Does this world belong to Zanza, or does it belong to you? That is something... I decided long ago. Oh, the oh. That, that's simple. Today, we use our power to fell a god uh -huh. and then seize our destiny. Oosh. Here we go. I think. Yeah. Where am I? This is my home. Your home? Let's begin the experiment. Hmm. Whose voice was that? It is Zanza. Before he became a god. When he was simply a man of flesh and blood. No! The results have not been confirmed! It's too dangerous! And that voice? Lady Mayneth. It's Mayneth! Ridiculous! It's perfectly safe! We are about to bear witness to the birth of a universe! Once, only a god could perform such a miracle! But today, mankind moves one step closer to no, the divine! Huh. And thus, the Aegis was born. It was simple curiosity. The curiosity of a single man that destroyed the universe and created a new one. A new universe. Your world was born. And so, two gods came into existence. Zanza and Mayneth were lonely, so they created life in their own image. And that was how we were born. Comes on the map and As the world advanced to each further stage, it was inherited by generations of different life forms. But over time, awareness of Zanza faded. Zanza feared this. 
In order to escape his own annihilation, he wished for a world in a perpetual cycle of destruction and recreation. Bionis being filled with life, and the Telethia coming to wipe it out. It was all the will of Zanza. It was. But the truth of the matter is that he longed for friendship. His future, and our future, it might have been possible for them to coexist. Correct. However, that time has passed. The old god was defeated by the new god that he himself created. New god? Yes. That is why I appeared before you, Shulk. Hmm. Shulk, the new god. Alvis, what are you? I am the administrative computer of a phase transition experiment facility. Ah. But that will mean little to you. To you, I am a machine. That is my original form. Alvis? This world is stagnant. It has expired. Therefore, I will ask you, its new god. What is your wish? Will you allow the world to continue to stagnate? Or will you allow it to evolve to the next level? The choice is yours to make. I don't know. All I wanted to do was stop Zanza having his way, that's all. I cannot be a god. Too right. Hmm. You're great and all, but there's no way you're a god. Everyone. Look, don't worry, Shulk. None of us want to be gods anyway. And Sounds I don't like really Fatima know what the future holds, but we just want to live our life as it comes. Eating grub, sleeping, laughing, crying, sometimes arguing. Sounds all right? Yes, <laughs> he's right. Nice headset. And being with the ones we love, that's enough. Even so, we change little by little. Every day is a little different from the last. We do not know what the future will hold. More fun hmm. not knowing! Ricky want to have fun! Life's little surprises are what makes it great. We don't know what's going to happen. It's worrying sometimes, but it's also exciting. Don't you think? Yeah. Isn't that called progress? Aren't we all continuously evolving? I'm not sure we need a more dramatic change than that. Yeah. You're right. Little by little. Each day as it comes. That's how we should live. That's our world. Oh. Forgive my presumptuousness, but I recreated their personalities from your hmm. consciousness. Alvis, it sounds like you don't think I can make my own decisions. I'm supposed to be the god. <laughs> Apologies. However, I have good reason. This world has little time remaining if left in this state. Have you made your decision? The choice is yours, creator. Tell me your decision. For the future of this world. I won't decide. The future should be decided by each and every person in the world. And so, what I... No. What we wish for is... A world with no gods! <laughs> Boom. 
if that didn't kill everyone, I don't know what will. Hmm. Maybe that's our world. Why not? Living together. Why? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's brilliant. Kill me? Oh, I'm really sorry, Colonel. Sorry? What do you mean, sorry? Squat jumps around the entire colony. Fifty laps now. <laughs> Ah, yes. That's excellent. So, you can take the materials to District 4. The restoration's coming along nicely. Thanks to Melia and Venea. The High Intia and Machina have some amazing technology. We are happy to help. To live alongside one another in harmony. After all, I have no doubt this is what Lady Maynath and Egil would have wanted. Here, here. Yeah. And may it last forever. Dumban? Fiora? What is it? Have you seen Shulk? Oh, uh, he just left. I don't know where he's gone, but he was with Ryan and the others. Okay, thank you. Oh. Fiora? Yes? Uh. It's nothing. Good luck. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Shulk and Fiora should have got together. Uh, Melia and Dumban. If you're looking for Shulk, he is not here. Amazing! It's like you've got eyes Charla in the back Ryan. of your head. What were you looking at? The sea? Hmm? I wasn't looking at anything in particular. If anything, Fiora, I was thinking. Thinking about the future that awaits us all. Wow. You're so much more thoughtful than me. Really? I don't think so. I was just answering your question. But I know what you mean. You're right. We've been through a lot. Yes. We have. I am grateful to all of you. It is because I met you that I experienced so much, and it is the reason I am here now. Yes, we're happy you're here too. Thanks, Melia, for everything. I'm glad I met you. <laughs> and I you. Yay. Yeah. All most <laughs> Go Ryan! Go Ryan! Oh, Ricky really hard! Put your back into it, Ryan! Are you okay? It's salty! What's up with the water being so salty? Ryan, you're terrible at this. When was the last time you fished? <laughs> oh, bad fisherman. Ricky won't eat big fish. Give us a break. You try next time, Furball. Fishing is Ryan's job. Ricky's job is eating. Ricky's got the best job. Oh, yeah. Hang on a sec. Isn't Oko going to have a massive go at you if you don't go back to her with 14 fish to feed all yeah. the little pond? <gasps> Ricky forgot. Why be on very angry if not catch more fish? You don't think she's gonna be angry with you? Catch fish! Catch fish now! The 
breeze feels so good. Mm. It does. Hmm. Keys were covered. Yay! Kiss already. Really? Oh, I was thinking about growing it out, but hey, which do you prefer? <laughs> Both, of course. Oh, come on. What am I supposed to say to that? Sorry. Okay. It's great like that. Don't change it. <sighs> I'd forgotten what it feels like to do this. I wonder what the future has in store for us. Who knows? I'm sure it will be full of ups and downs. Ups and downs? I don't know what the future holds. But that means I can imagine the possibilities. We can achieve anything we put our minds to. Dude, you got a fish. Yeah. You're right. Remember what the Monado, I mean Alvis, said to us the last time we saw him. Yes, of course. Hmm. Shook. This new world is boundless. It is home to not only you, but many forms of life. I can see it. In this world, all life will walk towards the future. One day, I hope I can meet them all. The people of this endless world. Me too. We will. I know it. Mm -hmm. We'll meet them. And whatever happens, we'll face our future together. Such an awesome game. Is that the credits? Yeah. Right. I haven't really spoken much during this way because it's just too much good stuff. Um, with the the story, because it, it was it was. The thing that I'd heard the the uh, the um. Rumor, one of the rumors, the uh, the theories, because with the events of Dead Bay Chronicles two, where. Um, you know spoilers and all that sort of thing but the events with the whole experiment and all that created the two worlds um did I read one and two um and it's in the second game because where they say about the whole blades and core crystals and all that and with um Mithra and Malos being the aegises that there was supposed to be a third aegis that disappeared and a lot of people always, because of the whole Xander thing, Xander is normally the person who, you know, the big green, uh, big purple guy, long beard, tied up and all that. He is supposed to, people say, um, Xander, but he's not. He's just one of the beings that was there. And because uh, you have the, um, like the original bodies of Bionis and Maconis, and it seems as though when... Um, was it was the name Venea, I think, who was on not Venea, um, like Lady Mayneth. She was like the spirit of the Maconis. Um, Zanza was the spirit of the Bionis. And when the purple dude, whatever his name was, found the Monado, the spirit of the Monado, Zanza possessed purple dude, and. He then started to wage war on the Maconis. He did the first strike, which led to the big battle at the beginning of the game. Now, uh, it's thought that um, the third Aegis is 
Alvis and that the blade to go along with that is the Monado. Um, the whole thing with um, Zanza and the other Monado and all that is, oh my god, is it complicated. I mean, where is the Monado? The Monado is the spirit of the, like the, the blade weapon spirit of the Bionis. And then you have Lady Mayneth who has her own version and because both the beings in order to exist in their world they need a physical body to take control of. Mayneth had one and um, Sansa eventually got a uh, purple dude and then eventually Shulk. But it's like it kind of backfired when Shulk ended up becoming the new god. Uh, and then there's that bit in Zenobay Chronicles 2 where you meet the um, architect who um, again is um, Klaus and because it turns out that when the big uh, boom happened um, his body, his consciousness and his spirit ended up being split between the two worlds. This sort of nice version of him stayed and was in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and created that world and his evil side ended up becoming Zanza. And then um, it was sort of like the um, the two games take place simultaneously in the different worlds and when you're doing the final battle against Malos um, there's that line today we use our power to defeat a god or whatever it is which is actually because the final battle is taking place at the same time as the final battle in the Red Chronicles 2. So hopefully all that pratting around that they do in Zelda Chronicles 1 is done at the same amount of time that they prat about in Zelda Chronicles 2 because they decide they want to get everybody's affinity up to scratch and everything else. And it's like, nah, let's just take our time. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, look, we took too long and now we're boned. Oh, here we go. Wow, I actually managed to talk all the way through those. Start a new game. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm never going to do New Game Plus, but... So, yeah, you can play the game from the beginning using gained items, levels, arts and affinity. Money? I have so much money. 30 weapons, armor, materials and key items are Okay, all other items. Also other achievements carried over. Achievement trials. Ah, oh, affinity charts, quests are not. Oh, that holds a true Minardo. If you clear the game again, the moment will have you carry over to equipped if you're not equipped when you finish the game you must choose to carry it over it'll be lost forever oh and 30 weapons okay let's see what crap i've got <laughs> okay well i haven't even got that many cool uh confirm 30 items I probably don't even really have that many because I sold a lot of stuff before I did the few last minute grinding. Yeah. 30 again. I want to see what this true Monado is. Oh, just one from there. So I did consider doing New Game Plus, but because I, I like the whole the leveling up, the progress, starting off as a low leveled weakling and then becoming a uh, sort of overpowered badass where you can defeat a god without really even breaking a sweat. Um, 60 materials? Uh. Uh. Items. Ah, uh, Adam. <laughs> I wonder if that's the Adam. Um. Okay, let's go most recent. Let's just take the 60 I most recently got. That's, that's 30. Yeah. There's at least that way. I must have get, I must be taken over at least some of the good stuff. Confirm items to carry over. Right, let's save over that one. So that didn't take that long, actually. Cool. Are you sure you want to... Right, let's have a look at the true Monado, then. Dun, dun, 
here. Is it just new game or is it continue? Oh, I probably should have gone continue and then selected the uh, file. Right, hang on. Button mash. Can I? Oh, we're good. Can. Right, let's just reset quick. Hmm, what to go on to? I was tempted to play uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X because I haven't actually played that. I got the special edition. I'm looking at it right now. But I don't think I've actually even taken it out of the box. But uh, I did sort of think, yeah, I could. But do I really want to start another 100 plus hour game? No, yes. Oh, here we go then. Let's see what happens. Long ago, the world was nothing more than an endless sea, cloaked in, in the a beginning, boundless sky. There was the Bionis reaching and the as far as could possibly be imagined. Ah. Locked in an endless battle. Then two great titans came into existence. The statue company, first four figures. I've got a few of their figurines. You might have seen them in some of the videos I've done. Uh, something like this would be so awesome. I would pay mega money for it. Yeah. I just want to get the. Uh, oh, we've got to do all this, didn't we? But then again. We are going to be like level 19, <laughs> level 22. Huh. Yeah, I just want to see the uh, the true Monado. Shouldn't take long. Actually, not with all this. Jesus. Where's the next one? Here he is. And again. <laughs> wow. See, this is one of the reasons why I didn't want to do New Game Plus, because it would just make the whole thing so easy. I'd probably just get fed up with it and bored. I think it happened when I did Okami. Uh, I did New Game Plus on that, and I think I was only about... I think I just done the battle against the nine. Let's stay focused. Oh no, Orochi, and I completely maxed out everything, completely, and I I know. Oh, oh, that's pretty. <laughs> I was too busy going. Ooh, that's pretty. And Ryan just annihilated the gravel. That is that's pretty. No, not that one. That one. Oh, I think I was using the uh, Monado Agni before. Nine, 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 nine. nine. Whoa, physical defense. That's um, a rather impressive. Um... Yeah, how can I just uh... ah view character? That is so cool. Can I zoom in? Yes. What are you doing? I want to have a look at the sword. That is actually really cool. Uh, okay, Alex from First Four Figures. Y yes. There's the next statue, please. Actually, hang on. Uh, oh, I don't think I can. Oh, hang on. Because, of course. <laughs> Come on then, Shulk. Whip your sword out. <laughs> that is actually a really snazzy sword. I want one. Cool. Well, so there's... Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, no. Come on. How do you... Why can't I just remove it all? Oh, there we go. 
Oh, I can't. Oh, you can't remove the weapon. Fair enough. There we go. What's his weapon? Yeah. I don't know. Whose weapon do you reckon's biggest? Oh. Ryan's got the bigger weapon. Yeah. And he whips his sword out. Anyway, that's enough innuendo for one day. So. Uh, yeah, so that's. Um, ah. Xenoblade Chronicles 1 ending. Maybe I'll have to do the same thing for Xenoblade Chronicles 2 when I get to find a bit of that eventually when I replay it. So I'm going to replay it. I love that game. I mean, I think it is a game. My all time top favourite three games are probably Breath of the Wild, Xenoblade Chronicles 1, and Xenoblade Chronicles 2. The enemy's weak, so, there we go then. So, there's the ending to Xenoblade Chronicles. I didn't chat as much as I wanted to, and there's so much I could have said that I uh, really didn't. Maybe this is one of those things where you need sort of like a proper, um, uh, like, discussion thing about it. Just have it. Easy. Uh, just to sort of, um, Discuss all the ins and outs of the. Oh, he's skill learned. How has he learned another skill? He's like level 99. Oh, okay. So there we go then. I'm going to end that there before I just waffle on too much. Pretty sword. So thanks for joining me. Hope it was worthwhile. And um, see you around. Bye.